Hey guys, Alicia here. Uh, this is my video response for my entry for Amador's 1300 Literature Subby Giveaway. Um, he is Amadoreros here on YouTube and I will put the link below so you can check it out. Your due date for this, I believe, is September 8th. And what he wanted us to do was create anything literature related. That could have been anything from a theme that has to do with a book that was made into a movie, a favorite book, fairy tale, a poem, nursery rhyme. Um, he said that we could make a project with book paper, uh, book box, um, anything literature book that you could think of. And this is what I've made. I really wanted to use a book box that I bought at um, Michael's. And what I did was, um, well first I'll tell you a little bit about what it is. I thought about a book or the movie Arabian Nights. I've never read the book but I've seen a couple versions of the movie and of course there's Aladdin that everybody is familiar with. And I was really excited about making an Arabian princess book, like a diary slash treasure box. And this is what I made. Um, I know that Amador loves this, like a turquoise blue, so I really wanted to use this color for my project. And of course, uh, I thought princess, there's bling, gold, it's glamorous, it's bright, and um, so this is my project, this is what I came up with. These are um, some of the flowers that I've been making lately. I'm gonna attempt to make a tutorial on it because it's, I did learn how to make, I got the idea from YouTube, so I know that there's videos on it, but I I put my own twist to it and I found a way of making it a little fluffier and it's really easy and fast to make. And this is actually made with organza fabric. So I figured it, it would be a good idea for me to share what I came up with and make my first tutorial on it and see, see if I can inspire anyone else. What I did was add some trim that I had stained myself with a mixture of alcohol inks, acrylic paint, and some shimmer. And that's how um, the same, I used the same mixture. All I really did was put them in a, in a glass bowl and I put all the trims that I wanted to use, um, mixed them all together, and then just let them out to dry. I didn't want to use my, my, um, heat gun or a dryer or anything because this cotton lace was is really thick and I figured it would just take forever so I just I did that a day before I was gonna make my project and just let it out to dry overnight I also stained this lace with acrylic paint and just added lots of bling and trim I also made the back I put some glittery flowers that I already had, some paper flowers, gold flowers. I added this feather because they are it's bright and it kind of matches the same color. Oh, glue threads, hate them. Um, anyway, and um, also made a charm because I had beads that match the color, and I I love making charms. Yeah, I, I, think to this specific project that just adds a, a little bit of you know like a princess jewel little treasure thing and I have these I love these they're made with love I'm gonna use them in all my projects as many projects as I can so I thought a charm would be a perfect idea to do it so I'm gonna I, I hope you like it I it, it was a little tough for me to use all these colors. I, I had a little hard time with the clustering and just kind of coming up with the concept of using colors that are are bright and glammy. But um, I'm really happy with 
what I came up with and I hope you like it. So thank you for watching.